Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Guys, welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts of Trivia. Appreciate you being here. I want to apologize first off as my microphone has died. So um, we're doing this without a microphone. Sorry if we got any uh, audio difficulties. So, But uh, it's going to take a while to charge it. So today's video is on two cast members from Gilligan's Island who guest starred on the Beverly Hillbillies. Can you guess who they were? Take a look. Despite their fame on Gilligan's Island, two cast members actually found themselves guest-starring roles for another top CBS series. Jim Backus and Natalie Schaefer, who played Mr. and Mrs. Thurston Howe III, made appearances on the Beverly Hillbillies. During their show's lengthy run, uh, both Backus and Schaefer, before Gilligan's Island, had appeared in movies and TV show shows throughout their careers. Backus was known for having the cartoon voice of Mr. Magoo, plus he played Frank Stark the father role in James Dean's last film, Rebel Without a Cause. Schaefer happened to be a Broadway actress appearing in 17 plays before moving out to L.A. Besides her spot on the Beverly Hillbillies, which is talked about a lot, Schaefer also guest starred on TV shows like I Love Lucy, Guestford Ho, Mayberry RFD, and so on. Backus appears in the first season of the Beverly Hillbillies as Martin Van Ronsohoff, chairman of the Commerce Bank. That's where Jed Clampett put all his money, when, uh, which was overseen by bank president Milburn Drysdale. In the episode, Van uh, Ransohoff uh, thinks that Clampett is a genius. He dreams, uh, his dreams get shattered when he visits the Clampett mansion and finds himself at the dinner table. Uh, Schaefer, a few years before Gilligan's Island started airing, appears as Madame Renee in 1964, uh, episode of the Beverly Hillbillies. The plot involves Jed Clampett getting convinced that it's a good idea to invest in a woman's clothing store. He picks the one run by Madame Renee. Uh, the problem arises when both Jed and Madame Renee think each other is in financial dire straits. straits. Uh, which happens uh, is the end as they end up working on a dressing gown show where Ellie May gets a chance to show off the latest in dress wear. Both Bacchus and Schaefer had a solid record of performances behind and before taking on Thurston and Lovey Howe. The work on Gilligan's Island remains a fan favorite five decades since it first aired on CBS. There you go. Uh, again, I apologize uh, for this audio. Um, be better tomorrow, I hope. Um, don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. I will be taking the weekend off over there. Uh, I'm gonna thinking about going to five days a week on it. Um, and I'm going to try to spend a little bit more time on the videos there, try to boost viewership somehow. If not, I uh, may have to just drop it completely. We'll see how it goes. Um, while you're over there, please subscribe and check out some of the older videos I put on there, if you would. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you. <laughs>